Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doodle 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 do. Subscribe. What are we watching this October twentieth? The thing. The thing. We did that All righty. <laughs> A very special Pure Hangout today because today's movie will not be watched at the homestead. Instead, we are traveling to a friend's place for a little Pure Hangout to watch The Thing. So things are going to be a little bit different this time. And I think maybe if they had time, perhaps they will have made some horror d'oeuvres. We just pulled into Tracy's. We're going to go in and hopefully we'll be greeted with some horror d'oeuvres. Hey, bitches! <laughs> hey, Andy, do you want to be famous on YouTube? That's his way of asking if he can film <clears throat> me for his channel. Sure. What kind of horror oh. d'oeuvres did you set up for us today? Horror d'oeuvres? Uh, well, they didn't turn out super well, so... <laughs> but they're fine. What's the theming here? I didn't, um, this I didn't is do that. Tracy's choice. That's, that's <laughs> mushrooms. Mushrooms? What's the theming here? Um, How does this, this relate Tracy's to the film? Choice. Um, in the film, they eat food, and we will also be eating food. He, here's, Classic. here's the related things that didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. <laughs> oh, so these are, are Talbot. These are apples <laughs> that were supposed to end up being browner and looking more like potato wedges. Okay. okay. They didn't. This is fake ketchup. Wait, why potato wedges? I haven't seen the film. Maybe I should wait. It's imitation food. <laughs> food that imitates other food. Imitation food. food. <laughs> yeah. Food that imitates other food. Yep. Yeah. That, that that has something to do with the film. And this is really cold. So ice. Ice. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And red. Perfect theming. Obvious. Scott Wilson, A.K.A. Herschel from Walking Dead. O.J. Simpson. Two options here, tube, flat screen. We opted for the flat screen. The Blu-ray version. There's the spread. There's the people getting some pure hangout in. <laughs> some of that pure friendship. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start the movie. Red snow ice. Watermelon flavor. It is delicious. Now the movie's gonna start. Quick intermission. The film is highly grotesque. I This is a first time watch for me also. I think I mentioned that. But I am loving it so far. Now, both of you have seen this many times, correct? Correct. Just oh. once for me. Just once for Tracy. Andy, this is one of your favorite movies of all time. Like up there. You know, yeah. he has a bunch. But this one's... like, And it's weird that this is a first time watch for me because I've known you for years. Went to the same babysitter. <laughs> been been hearing him talk about this movie for years. Sure. And yeah. somehow, this is my first time seeing it. Yeah. For it's as much time as, as well. we've spent together, it's weird that I've never... Right. This has never just been on. Well, so. I, like we were talking about um, the other night, how great when you can go in cold to an old movie. Oh, yeah. Because it is... And this one is extra frosty. Yes. <laughs> A little later... Thank you, friends, for showing me this movie. <laughs> You're very welcome. I appreciate it. After all these years hearing so many great things about it, I've finally seen it, and I absolutely loved it. There were more of the horror derbs. <laughs> and now they all make sense to me. Imitation potatoes. They look like potatoes, but they're made out of apples. This red sauce to put on them. One of the... The variety of bloods that we saw in the movie. This is like the gasoline and snow that they used to, to burn people. <laughs> they used to burn people. The, the gasoline they used to burn people out in the snow. They weren't people. The things. They were all anymore. Yeah. They were all the things. Now, have you seen the original one from the 40s or 50s or whenever? Mm -hmm. Is that one Quite good? Different. Is kind it good? Blo kind of blobby. 
Uh, sure, it's a little blobby, I guess. <laughs> Would you say this is an example of a remake that is far superior in my opinion yes so it's like the fly kind of yes. situation but what did you think of the prequel did you watch the prequel <laughs> it was terrible it was really bad I'll, i would watch it again but it's terrible yeah should i watch it or oh, just okay. never oh oh all right all right, all right that's a thing am i right i got that on camera <laughs> is it one <laughs> the way her tail is flipping around right there she's banging yeah, it's like the thing, but also the position here in this video makes it extra uh, funny. Penis? <laughs> <laughs> Both of those things together. Uh, oh so, so should we skip out on the prequel or watch it? Uh, do whatever you want, I guess. But I, if you're if you're pressed for time, I'd skip it. But. <laughs> You know, if you time. like just watching stuff you haven't seen, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe next year we'll put it in the calendar. Who knows? Mm -hmm. We'll make it low priority, though. Definitely a back burner yeah. film. Thank you so much for hosting and showing me the thing. Maybe I did say that already. You're welcome. <laughs> but now it's on tape. Tape. Now it's on tape. Get your VCR. <laughs> and watch it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We're going back home now. <laughs> See ya. He can't, he can't stop. <laughs> back home, just to talk a little bit more about the movie. I've heard so many people say that this is their favorite horror movie of all time, and I totally get it. The movie is fantastic. Like it might be, I would probably say, even though I just watched it, it's probably my favorite John Carpenter movie. Like it, I. I think so. I probably like this more than Halloween. I probably like this better than the Escape movies. I like it better than The Fog. What else have I seen of his? I don't know. But I think I feel pretty confident in saying that this one would be my favorite. I don't know. Like, don't hold me to it because I'm, you know, just really excited right now for having seen this. I've been out of the loop forever. This is a movie that I have been embarrassed for years for not having seen. You know, it's just like, all my friends had seen it, they were always talking about it. I don't know why I didn't rent it ever. That should have just been something that I had done. I had, um, you know, I, they, they've, they've all seen it. You would think that I just would have stumbled upon watching it with them. I had seen some of the imagery before, like um, that sort of like worm looking head. I've seen that before. There's like a scene where uh, Kurt Russell like hears the final boss, like Wilford Brimley, who does not have a mustache, did not recognize him at all. He looks fantastic <laughs> like that. I don't know, I just always know him as Quaker Oats, you know, and Diabetes Guy, and from Cocoon. So it was just weird to see him without a mustache. But anyway, like when Kurt Russell like, like looks, you know, like that or something, like I can't mimic it. But that like, that little clip for some reason, I was very familiar with that. And, um, well, the Wormhead guy, I already said that, but who I'm referring to is the person who turns into, like, a spider, an upside-down head spider. That's, like, an earlier, um, like, he eventually turns into the upside-down head spider, but, like, earlier when he's, like, that Wormhead, I'd seen that before. And then the dogs, earlier in the movie, one of the dogs' heads is very asymmetrical and moving around like this. I'd seen that before. I don't know if there's a meme or something, but that looked familiar. But I knew nothing. I didn't even know... If I knew this, I'd forgotten. I didn't know it was like an alien movie. So the movie opens and then here's this spaceship and it's like, all right, this is an alien movie. Had no clue. I assumed it took place, you know, in Antarctica or one of the poles or something. I had, you know, I wasn't fully sure for all I knew it could have taken place in Minnesota. You know, I knew it was a snowy atmosphere. Maybe it was, you know, North Dakota or something, but I in my head I always assumed it was like a research facility in Antarctica so I did I did have that assumption correct but regardless great movie fantastic I want to own it now I saw uh, a steelbook actually I had I was familiar with this imagery um, a, a recent steelbook of the movie just came out and it's like sort of the first gory um, uh, deformed faces or whatever that are kind of being split like that. So I was familiar with that image also because it's on the cover of one of the uh, Blu-rays. Um, but yeah, love it. Want to own this movie. I 
don't have it and uh, I'm ready to watch it again. It was very gross though. Like we had all that food as you saw and I was kind of losing my appetite. I was eating the imitation potato wedges that were made out of apples, right? The themed food that my friend Andy made. I was eating those with that barbecue sauce, which was actually like a sweet jam and spicy sauce. And I'm eating that and I'm watching this movie and I'm like, I'm kind of not wanting to take any more bites of this. Like it was kind of grossing me out, like very, very effective. Like I, 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 that type of stuff just doesn't happen to me. <laughs> very often, but especially when you're around friends having a great time, you know, like we were having fun watching this, but it was still giving me that response of like losing my appetite. I thought that was interesting. And I keep saying this because I keep trying to end, end this vlog, but again, love this movie, thought it was fantastic. And you know what, I'm gonna let my friends do the outro. Perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout. Nailed it. Doodle 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 doodle. Subscribe.